But today, I'm teaching you guys to be professional photographers. What does that what does that mean? You ever wondered how these Genshin players get these amazing photos, blurred backgrounds, amazing scenery, perfect picture frame image? I have a photography background experience and i'm using these skills in genshin impact to bring you how to get good photos in genshin impact 101 i'm gonna show you some tips some secrets some of my favorite spots for you to pose with your friends or if you don't have friends that's totally fine totally acceptable or with yourself either one works you're probably wondering why should i trust you i don't even know who you are you're just some some dude who plays genshin that likes gene let me show you an image i have taken not so long ago it's on twitter an image taken by yours truly how how do i how do i know it's you well my uid is right here kazaha is framed perfectly here and it could be Li, it could be xingqiu it could be xiangling it could be it could be anyone you want if you want your character in this image i'm gonna teach you today now we're gonna start with uh inazuma inazuma has brought many beautiful spots sceneries and uh colors a new a new batch i guess palette of colors but we gotta we gotta clear some rules up on how i uh how i take my photos you're gonna you're gonna take a photo what do you do click the photo button obviously people like to blur and just get like you know the person focused which is like you know that's cool that's fine too many people do it and overuse it because they think blurry background means pretty and in most cases it does when the center of focus is the scenery you don't want to blur it. It, it it's almost better to just have the background because that's the whole point of a scenic photo a scenery if you're taking a portrait i turn around portraits look a lot better with a bunch of color in the background so this would be a good example of like when to blur the background when there's a lot of color in the background something like this right the washed blurred colors make it look very pretty because it's a portrait you're focusing on the person so those are some basic basic tips now I'm gonna be showing you my personal favorite spot in Inazuma to take photos. You can take your favorite character. You can take a friend, model with them. I don't know, do whatever you want. The very first spot to the shrine. I think it's at the shrine. I, I don't really remember. I, I literally pinned them on my map. The first spot is here. You're probably, you're probably like, what the fuck is this? What This looks so stupid. Hear me out. Okay. This is where it gets super artsy, but uh, you, you may need a model here. And what you're gonna do is hide your character. You're gonna be zooming in at a dramatically low angle. There's a spot right here. You're gonna blur everything in front and have someone stand right here spot right here for the sun to shine through and a model right in the middle and if you get it right this is what it can look like sun shines here your model walking forward maybe down either way works you're just gonna want to take a stroll here into this balcony this is this is something i haven't shown on twitter because i've been saving it you're just gonna stand here and look out there and maybe you have a couple friends with you they can all stand by your side and look out in the distance maybe i can have a few people join you know who, who would like to participate with me in this f photo i'm gonna shut the f up who wants to join you have friends looking off in the distance wow so beautiful it, it is kind of boring but it's all about framing you want to frame your subject to be the center of attention we're gonna zoom out and use the fence thingy mabobbers here blur Everything in front. There you go. Using the fence to frame, and we have a not gonna lie. Zhong Li, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to move a little bit back because you're covering Jean's beautiful face. If you can hear me, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, just another uh, just another example of uh, the, the great potential of the photo camera. We're going to the spot of the photo I first showed at the beginning of this video. And all three of these spots are at the shrine, so they're very easy to remember. This last spot is right here. And then pop that camera out. And there you go. Add the blur. Make sure everything's focused in the middle. And then... Ooh, there, there it is. There you go. Maybe I should probably get rid of... Yeah, okay. We're gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. This is, this is a single photo moment. And there you go. I'm gonna save that one. That's a, that's a banger photo. All you gotta do... Walk to the left side. Where the, sh the sun shines. Pose next to a pillar. 
Actually, this pillar. This pillar is better. Stand next to this pillar. You can change the strength of the blur however you want. I don't know why he looks so short. Did I just get raided? Oh my god, Lily Peach, you just raided me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, my notifs are off because I'm filming a YouTube video. I'm oh, I feel so bad. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, my God.